cheese and cracker with it mm -hmm. it just makes the whole world a different oh hey uh hi welcome to b movie mania i'm mike hayes my name is paul brooks welcome to the pizza episode of the show Woo! paul is excited i don't know if you know this but i like pizza <laughs> a little, little just a little bit i'm kind of a pizza guy Kind of a fan. This is his Sunday best. This is what I wear to church. They're not happy about it. <laughs> they had to live with it, though. It's the pizza episode. We're going to talk about two movies revolving entirely around pizza. And I know that sounds probably preposterous, but we're going to prove you wrong. We got mm -hmm. some really good pizza themed films. On tonight's episode of B-Movie Mania. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm not as excited. But only because it's pizza and you're more excited than I am. I'm making myself hungry right now. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll work <laughs> on that later. Okay, cool. Up first. Up first. What we got for what, what we got going on, Mike? A little movie starring Bill Maher called The Pizza Guy. It's no. Pizza Man. I was, I was one of pizza those. Pizza Man. It's Pizza Man, right? Pizza Man. Okay. I'm Elmo Bunn. Pizza Man. Bill Maher from Politically Incorrect mm -hmm. and Real Time with Bill Maher? Uh, yeah, Religious. Starring in a movie. From, yeah, starring. Got a 20 and two singles. You. Full tank. All right, hurry back. I got one for you. I'm there. Pizza, Pizza Man. Man. Yeah. Okay. We watched it. <laughs> we watched it. It's a movie. I'll tell you what. Started out great. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be uh, a real doozy. Like that. Like the, that burp. Right. But like that burp, it petered out at the end. By the end. By the end of the film, what was it like? That's exactly right. And this is a very frustrating film. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed the tone of it. Uh, it. It started out as this fantastically dry sort of film noir vibe. I don't carry a gun on small orders, a mini combo or medium cheese to Westwood. But in East Hollywood, they don't order minis. And they don't take prisoners. Not pizza men, anyway. Yeah, it was definitely a film noir. The lighting and everything was spot on. It takes place in L.A. This whole thing was great. Bill Maher's really and funny. Playing it straight as a pizza delivery guy. He got that tone of voice. He's, he could really deliver that tone. It's a good place for a pizza man. I've known slow ones and fast ones, but when you cut to the short hairs, all pizza men are the same. They want to deliver the pizza and get their money. Vince understands that. He was on the street. He knows what it's like out there. I'm like, because there's a couple movies that you and I watch mm -hmm. over and over and over again that are, that are sort of our personal cult classics. Mm -hmm. And for the first maybe half hour or so, I, that, that, that's the vibe that I was getting. Like, oh. this is going to be one of our new cult classics. Yeah. Can't you just take me home? I'm a pizza man, lady, not a taxi. They took themselves really seriously. Yeah. It was really dry comedy in, mm -hmm. a, in a really funny way. Yeah, everything, everything was escalated up to a serious, a very serious situation. Except it was, it was just a guy delivering a pizza, and he just wanted to get his fifteen twenty three. Fifteen twenty three. 
15, 23, and then the other thing that they kept repeating. <laughs> uh, extra large pizza with anchovies and sausage. Sausage and anchovies. Yeah. Have an extra large sausage and anchovy. If you are out there and you're having a few beers and you want to play a drinking game to Pizza Man, two rules and two rules only. Anytime they say 1523, which is the price of the pizzas, mm -hmm. and anytime they say sausage and anchovies, and by the end of the night, you're probably going to be feeling pretty good. Sausage and anchovies. 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 Extra large. Fifteen twenty-three, please. Fifteen twenty-three. Fifteen twenty-three. Fifteen twenty-three. Fifteen twenty-three. Fifteen dollars and twenty-three cents. Fifteen twenty-three. 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 So fifteen twenty-three exactly. What? No tip? Yeah, he like at the beginning of the movie is delivering this pizza and he, he goes into this warehouse and there's a like, mobsters in there and it's played so straight. He's like, I just need the 1523. And they get mad, they pull guns and he bites them a bit. Like it's just normal, like <laughs> business as usual. This is how it always sometimes you gotta fight a guy. He's got 1523 on his mind. Kick his ass out of here. We go. <laughs> Fifteen twenty-three, please. There's also a subplot uh, well, yeah. involving a former pizza delivery guy who went out to deliver a pizza at at the address that he's got to go mm -hmm. to. Bill, that Bill Maher has to go to, and the pizza delivery guy never came back. Never. And it was a sausage and pep or a sausage and anchovy, anchovy pizza, pizza as well. The last time we got that order from East Hollywood, same corner, the pizza man never came back. And so Bill's character wants to find out what happened, because he was like his best friend. Yeah. He, he knew, wants to yeah. find out what happened to the pizza delivery guy, because they never, they never found out. Never. He just disappeared, and they never found out what happened to him. Donnie was a different sort of pizza man. He had dreams, big dreams. He wasn't a lifer like me. Wanted to make something of himself. A dreamer, but I respected him. He never delivered a cold one, and he never got stiffed, except that one night. So that sort of was driving him through this film, which mm -hmm. is great. It was hilarious. The problem is, is that it started to get political. And not just in, like, it, it just wasn't clever. It was very clumsy political humor, I thought. Very clumsy. They start introducing uh, political figures, actors who are playing political mm -hmm. figures. Ronald Reagan is in the movie. Come on now, Elmo. What you're frightened of is that I may be right. Tax the poor, give money to the rich. That's the way to keep the economy afloat. It's very topical. Which yeah. dates it very severely. It, it's definitely like 80s LA politics. It starts out, well, Reagan, you know, Reagan's there, and then there's a bunch of like LA Politico stuff goes on, and it just kind of expands at some point. Only Donald Trump's in the movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm a billionaire now. Donald Trump. The Trump Palace. The Trump Plaza. The Trump Shuttle. The Trump Game. The Trump Book. Trump, Trump, Trump! Trump. So it suffers from being sort of overly topical and overly political, mm -hmm. and I th got to think that Bill Maher had a lot of influence in that, and it sort of oh, suffers yeah, totally. because of that. Yeah. Reagan saddles the U.S. of A. with massive debt, stagnates the economy, and allows it to become a second-rate economic power. The Japanese were one with a major starring role in bedroom scenes with a sexy actress. Oh boy, suddenly Reaganomics makes a lot of sense. 
Yeah, I mean, we both, I, I looked over at some point and just noticed you, I was like, I felt like just, just tired. Yeah, we've both just petered out. That. Just noticed like, oh, he's done too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just was really disappointing because I liked it so much for the first half of it. Mm -hmm. And then things take a turn, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, what do you do? Well, Paul, what do you give Pizza Man? You know, so frustrating, so frustrating. It's a tough call. I gotta go four fingers. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm going to give Pizza Man 1523. On a, oh. on a scale of 50. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. yeah. 1523, I'll drink to that. Cheers. Well, right now, got something very special for you guys. We're going to send it out to our main man in the kitchen, Mike Hayes, who is cooking up a very, very special treat for us. Mike, what's going on in the kitchen, buddy? Listen, if you're watching pizza movies, you got to eat some pizza. Here's how you make pizza. Open up the freezer. Pull out your pizza. On the back, it's got a temperature, 400 degrees. We gotta turn it to 400 degrees. Mystic Pizza, good pizza, Julia Roberts. Put it back in the freezer. Wait for it to preheat. While you're waiting for it to preheat, hang out, talk to your friends. How's it going, Paul? Good. Fantastic. All right, we're preheated. Back to the freezer. Pull out your pizza. It's Mystic Pizza, it's a good move. Open up the box. Inside the box, you're gonna find your pizza. It's got a protective wrap on it. You got a Hulkamania that <laughs> Pour the crumbs back on the pizza that's left in there. Walk over to your oven. It's popping on in there. If you want a crispy crust, you lay it on the rack all by itself. You want soft crust, you stick it on a tray or a pizza stuff. Then you wait. You gotta wait the time allotted. It says on the back of the box, right here, 15 to 20 minutes. That's how many minutes you have to wait for your pizza to be ready. Or until the cheese is melted and crust edges are golden brown. Come, oh, it's ready. Make sure you use a glove, it's gonna be hot. Oh yeah, look at that sauce. That's looking real good right there. Golden brown, melted, ready to go. And then all you do, oh look at me, eat the pizza! Alrighty, hey, 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 look what I got here. Some tasty treats for ya. Guess what? What? In honor of Pizza Man, mm -hmm. in order to go along with the sausage, guess mm -hmm. what I put on top of this? Anchovies? Well, anchovies oh, for you. Oh, I've never had it before. Mm -mm -mm. Why don't you oh. dig in there? Here, let me show the camera real quick. Dig in there, take a bite for me. Let me know how it tastes. Oh, uh, well, you got one too for yourself. Oh, of course I do. Let's do yeah. this. Here, cheers. Cheers. Ugh. Well, Mmm. Wow. Sausage and anchovy, so good. It's really salty. Mine's not a lot of salty. No? This tastes like s sausage pizza. Have another bite. <coughs> once you once you try another bite for me. Just take a real big bite. Yeah, do it. It's good for you. See if you can taste the bones in there a little bit too. Mm. Are you really? tasting the bones? Kind of. I, well, yeah. I mean, it's anchovies. Mm. How does it taste? Like something died. Well, it did. Oh yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm gonna save some of this for later, I think. All right. Should I eat the rest of mine? If you can, if you want to. 
Well, I don't understand why you you didn't like yours. I'm just absolutely loving mine right I, here. I guess I just don't like anchovies. Wait a minute. What? What's that? Nothing. Hold on. Let me see. Let me let, get. Let me see this. No. Don't. That's mine. Don't touch. No. What are you doing? Crunchy. Golden. Those are just goldfish. Crackers. It's fish. It's still Those fish. Those are anchovies. It's still fish. It no. still counts. No. Not the same kind of fish. You, it's still tasty. You weasel. Well, anyway, speaking of weasels, the next movie we're reviewing tonight. We're the delivery boys. We're the delivery boys. And we deliver. Oh, yeah! We're the delivery boys. We're the delivery boys. We're the boys. Delivery boys. Oh, boy, do they deliver. Uh, oh boy, do they deliver. What a wild romp. <sighs> what a wild romp. Yeah. 80, uh, I mean, just... Not, not what I would say a classic 80s romp, because it's surprisingly... Uh, dull? I'm sorry, did you say dull? Yeah. I was going to say smart. I was going to say heartfelt. I was going to say intelligent. I was going to say classy. Apparently, uh, apparently you felt differently about delivery boys. <laughs> classy? Apparently you're not a true delivery boy. <laughs> apparently not. Look, a lot of 80s comedies, most 80s comedies get wacky and goofy and over the top. And Delivery Boys delivers on that. It's wacky. It's crazy. It's over the top. I, but what else is it? What else is it? These are kids. They're kids in this movie uh -huh. that have brains. There are kids in this movie that want to think for themselves. That want to become something bigger, something better. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of intelligent philosophy in this film. Most of they know you can know. They ain't? No, brains are important too. I like muscles. Brains are muscles. You say, but you see, the more you exercise your brain, the stronger it gets. If you never read or talk about deep stuff like that, your brain gets flabby. I can't tell if you're doing a bit right now. Listen, it was just... You're not from Brooklyn, okay? Nor um, are you! Well, I used to live in New York, so understand that these guys are just a bunch of Brooklyn dudes who mm -hmm. love to break dance, deliver some pies every now and then. And that's their life. It's simple, yes, mm -hmm. but it's 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 nice to see these guys, you know, just following their passions and following their dreams. Here's what I didn't like about the movie, or what I thought was one of the problems. Go ahead. These boys got sent off on these deliveries where crazy things happened. All sorts of crazy things happened. Well, three things. It was only three things. But the point is, what happened is they sent one off, that happened, and we go back, they send someone else off, that happened, come back, they send, it was very much a couple little, some vignettes that were going on throughout. And that's fine, but it's not good for keeping things going. I would have liked some more, I don't know, some more tense things going on. Listen, you want to talk about tense? Mm-hmm. Mario Van Peebles 
is a drug lord in this film, and he is ruthless. They call me Spider. Cause she creep around. <laughs> cool it, man. And you want to talk about tense. I was so tense every time he was on the screen. Mm -hmm. I felt like my head was shrinking. Because of the, the shrunken he heads he turns he had. people into shrunken heads. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's Ricky. That Bobby. That's Manny. That one's Richie. That one's Bobby. And this one's Maddie. <laughs> frightening. Nah. He, Flat he, frightening. He was an, an uninteresting villain. Mm, Marvin Peoples in his film debut. Yeah. What an interesting villain. There's this breakdance competition. He wants his gang to win. He's not even part of it. That was also the, kind of what annoying. What are they called? The 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 de uh, devil dogs. The devil dogs. Yeah. Now nah, that green money is there. That's ours for the taking. You did. We did. You did. We did. We did. We did. Taking on the delivery boys. Classic 1980s Brooklyn breakdancing. <laughs> Composition scenario going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has just arrived. I'm now going to introduce you each break of these two magnificent groups. To my left, you have the delivery boys introducing Max, Scandal, Psych, Sailor, and Sir Fresh. To my right, you have the Devil Dogs introducing Mighty Whitey, Funky Frankie, Fast Frost, Mr. Spin, Tiny Thunder, and Kid Swipe. I mean, it was obviously the movie wanted to to cash in on breaking, so like you know that was a, a thing. But the difference between breaking and this movie, these guys want to use their brains. <laughs> hey, Angelina, will you find something for Joey to do? I can't cook with him meditating on the counter. He's been there for two hours. Two hours. Might get hemorrhoids that way, you know. These guys have something to say. Are you they just have... talking about like when they were in like working out in like their no? They're quoting Shakespeare. Area? They're quoting. Well, one kid was quoting Shakespeare. He's got a lot of brains. To die. To sleep. To sleep. A chance to dream. Hey, there's the rub. It's a rub. They get themselves involved in all these weird situations, like you said. And mm. there's a weird, like, pizza seduction scene where this lady invites this, like, 15-year-old kid over for pizza. Yeah. Or to deliver the pizza. Now enter the room like I told you. <laughs> Such a good boy. Ends up seducing him. Come on, delivery boy. There's some weird stuff with the father and a dog and a dog and whipped cream. Mm-hmm. Just classic 80s stuff. But but that counteracts what you're saying about them wanting to make a smart movie. No 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 no. I never said that the filmmakers wanted to make a smart movie. I'm saying that the characters in the film want to be smart and are smart. They have brains, Mike. I think you're just thinking of that one kid. They all got brains the and kids, they all want to do something with their with their lives. The man. one interesting one interesting character was the alien kid. They never acknowledged to be an alien, but he had to have been an alien. You're thinking of Wet Hot American Summer. Nope. I'm thinking of the one good break dancer in the entire movie. He was the weirdo alien guy that had like oh, yeah, always yeah, yeah, wore yeah, yeah, silver yeah. and all that stuff. He was a space guy. 
right. he was weird and awkward. I, he said like nothing throughout the whole movie, but he was always in their little crew. He was a good break dancer. Yeah, they are all good break dancers. No. <laughs> well, we can dis- agree to disagree on this one. That's yeah? fine. Yeah. There's a b- bizarre scene, and I guess you just really weren't feeling this movie, but there's a bizarre scene where Conrad, he's a rich kid Mm -hmm. who delivers some pies on the side Mm because he's trying to do his part for society because he's smart. He's got a brain on him. He gets caught up in this weird Nazi medical experiment. There's a piano. Yeah. He gets a big boner. Yeah, big one. No one's meant to live alone. Then something grew inside me. I don't even know after that. I don't even. I don't even know what happened after that. It was so crazy. I kind of blacked out. I think. He got out. Yeah, yeah. He got escape. out of the yeah. yeah. Come on, get your hands behind your head. My hands behind my head? Both of them. Both my hands behind my head? Now! This is a classic pizza film. <laughs> they they do a great job delivering these pies all over New York City. No, they just do big three ups, deliveries. Big ups for delivering these pies. I mean, look. Oh boy, do they deliver. Look at that. This guy's in bed, pie on the floor, eat that later after we... Mm-hmm. That's my noise for sex. Speaking of deliveries, here's my problem. How many delivery boys were there at the delivery pizza place? There was like eight of them hanging out. Well, you know... How I'm, many deliveries did they have? Like three. You're talking about, you know... That manager was a terrible manager, overstaffed. Different time, Mike. No, Different time. I don't care, Paul. Overstaffed in the whole thing where she sold out and sold out the pizza boys, and then she comes back around like nothing. Oh, hey, I did that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> dumbest, just the <laughs> dumbest thing. Like there was no consequence in any way. So we can agree to disagree on this one, mm-hmm. delivery boys. All right, Paul. What do you rate it? What do I rate, delivery boys? Yeah. One hand up in the air. Uh huh. Mm. One hand like this, delivering a pizza pie. And like cruising down the street. Like, try going to the end zone with a pizza pie. I got a del- <laughs> We're the delivery boys. I got a pie in my hand, and we deliver. One hand up in the air. One pizza mm-hmm. pie coming through. Mm hmm. I'll give it, I'll give it a, I'll give it a nice toss and a spin. A nice oh, toss and a yeah. spin. Like the classic pie. East Village, you know, sort of, little Italy sort of. Hey, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like a Italian guy who's like four foot seven. Sure. Well, this has been fun. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the pizza episode. I hope it made you hungry. I hope you look. Uh, I hope you take a good look at me, at all this. P- Sausage and mushrooms, maybe even some anchovies and pepperoni that I got all over me. You don't have anchovies on you. Uh, we could you, make that happen real quick, though. No, you, you, no, you had gold, gold crackers, goldfish crackers. Oh. But I hope you. I hope it made you hungry. I hope you want to go out and see some pizza movies and wa- eat some pizza, maybe even drink a soda pop. Thank you for watching this episode, Mike. Thanks for hanging out with me on oh, this episode. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. And I'm going to join you next time on... Be Movie Mania! You want to eat me? You want to take a... Not at all. Take a bite. Take a bite. Just take a... Take a bite out of that right there. There you go. Bite down on it, yeah. Let me take a wild guess. Sausage and anchovies? Yep.